Mike Fortune. This is the Hamilton Network. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the first few days of spring. It is here. It's enjoyable. And no doubt with all the nicer weather that we've been having, you've been out doing a lot of walking, which reminds us that we want to talk to you about the 30 for 30 walk challenge. It's going to be coming up. And to tell us more about it, it's the event coordinator, Mr. Ed Valtenbergs and the president of Sport Hamilton, Helen Downey. Hello to both of you. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Uh, let's get you guys included in this conversation. Let's start off with you, Helen. First off, Sport Hamilton. What is it? How did it kind of get founded? Well, Sport Hamilton is the official sport council for the city of Hamilton. We started way back in 1984 when uh, a number of um, city staff in the recreation department said we need to uh, build a sport council and they got together with some community sport uh, groups and it got founded back then mm -hmm. and we've been going since we've um, I've been president since 2010 and uh, going Long strong journey. for the last 14 years we've had some incredible people with us over the years mm -hmm. but Sport Hamilton really is there to um, promote sports promote promote uh, physical activity, physical literacy. We want all Hamiltonians to be active for life. By all means, so, and, and, and Ed, by having all uh, Hamiltonians active, it starts at, at a young age, and it can go right up until, uh, in, in, until you basically can't walk anymore, more or less. Get out, be physical, but there's so much great things happening in Hamilton with sports. Yeah, well you wanna be, I mean we try to encourage being fit for life, so yeah, we. Yeah. We know what we want to educate the families and the kids hey there's a lot of resources on our website you know hey how do i get my kid involved in curling or archery or or whatever it may be yeah. we kind of visit our website so we want to encourage that but we want to keep people fit for life and active for life so mm -hmm. you know whether you're eight or 80 you know we're trying to you know encourage people to kind of uh, stay active and i think uh, by being active there's so many individual sports like walking can be an individual or it can be a group but it, team sports i think as well ed are so important it really helps build character in a young athlete as you get older oh definitely i mean yeah. i mean a lot of parents are out there they see you know the kids playing team sports they learn that hey it's how do we work together how do we how, you know how do we build this team yeah. right i mean you just you just can't be an individual all the time and win championships, right? Yeah. You've got to be able to work together, right? So, win uh, together, lose together, the whole works. Exactly. Well, I think and the you know pandemic uh, showed that people need sports. People need to be together. Yeah. People missed it. It was a very big deal because the, not just physical health was affected, mental, emotional, social health, all of those are part of being physically active, interacting with your peers, interacting with your family, mm -hmm. getting out and enjoying the, the outdoors, yeah. and doing something physical is really good for your overall well-being, and that's the key. Yeah, yeah. So this 30 for 30 walk, talk to us about this. How can people get involved? When is it happening? Uh, what, talk to us about the process. Okay. Well, we have a new initiative, and uh, Ed took it on uh, to say he's going to be the lead on this, but we uh, have a kickoff at uh, TB McQuestan Park on mm -hmm. April the 1st in okay. the morning. So we want to kick it off and enjoy um, the outdoors and have people register on our website. And there's all kinds of little perks to that, and I'll let Ed talk about the details. Let's hear it, Ed. Well, I think, uh, we, you know, we've, we've passed New Year's. I think everybody's kind of broken their New Year's <laughs> resolutions at this point. And then to, some. <laughs> yeah. Right? To kind of get fit and get back and active. So yeah. you know what? We're not going to let those people forget about it. We're going to say, hey, you know what? April 1st, you know, Easter Monday, as we say, start exercising. No fooling. Yep. <laughs> as April Fool's as that may be. But... You know what? Sometimes it's as we know with with any with any um, program, it it takes a while to. It says study has shown it takes 21 days to develop a habit and Three 30 weeks. days to get right. into a, a routine. And a lot of people want to exercise. They go, oh, I'm so intimidated by the gym, or I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, we're saying, get out there and walk. Just 30 minutes a day. Yeah. Right. And this is. Continuous 30 minutes. This is not going to work and walking around 30 <laughs> minutes between Fair your enough. offices, I, right? I, I get it. you got to get right. the heart rate going. Right, exactly. Yes. you got to get the heart yes. rate going yeah. and you want to be continuous. So we're trying to um, enable people to get out there and do it. So we've set up um, an app or an online application where you can actually go on and register your name and then daily go in there and say, I walk 30 minutes, I walk 60 minutes. So we want people to be engaged every day and kind of hold themselves accountable and hopefully team up with coworkers or friends or neighbors and kind of like, hey, let's go for a walk together. Yeah. So it's not like, I, you know, 
I'm on my own through this for three or four days. I'm accountable to you know registering my results. I'm you know accountable to going yeah. out with other people. And we're also going to provide an incentive. So every day that you record your results, we're going to have some kind of a prize from the oh, community. Great. So you register online that day. We'll draw and you win you know a eighty dollar gift card for for yeah. dinner or whatever it may be. Right. Super. So uh, we and then we also encourage. Um, we're going to be active through Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. So we want also people to. Go on to our Facebook page, post some pictures, you know, you know, promote, hey, this is my 10th day in a row, this is my 20th day. I went for 60 minutes a day. Make it interactive. Exactly, yeah. right? So and we really want to encourage participation um, in this. And as much as we're calling this 30 for 30, you, you might start off, Helen, doing 30 minutes, and then you might realize, to Ed's point, you know what, Add I'm going to go 60, I'm going to go 75 minutes, and yeah. next thing you know, like you said, after your three weeks, you're doing maybe an hour and a half walk. Yeah, and we want to encourage people to do it for 30 days continuous, mm -hmm. so that becomes a habit, and to do those increments slowly but surely, and be realistic. Don't say, I'm going to do an hour right off the bat. No. You know, you might not make it for 30 minutes the first time. Maybe just yep. build it up. If you get to 30, fantastic. Take your dog for a walk. Bring your kids along. You know, um, join a neighborhood group or get your neighbor. Uh, something to make it social, not to just be on your own because that's important. And if weather does play into it, can we dress appropriately? Dress appropriately. Yeah. And if someone decides, you know what? I want to do it, go on my treadmill today, but it's 30 minutes. For, yep. That still counts, right? Yeah, it still counts. Yeah. Absolutely. Good stuff. Yeah. Or go to the mall. Yeah. I know there's mall walkers, Ma too. A lot of mall walkers. That's right. right. Exactly. Just kind of get out there. I can't believe I'm starting to shift towards that age demographic. <laughs> I'm going to be in the mall walker <laughs> category in the next yeah, few years. Wearing your like, sweatpants. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wear my sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, uh, I know Sport Hamilton has done so many great things over the years. If people want to get involved, are you looking for committee members? Are you looking for volunteers? Are you looking for sponsorships and organizations to get involved? All all of the above. All of the above All and then of some, the right? Above. Yeah, we're always looking for people that want to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. Certainly people that are involved in various sport organizations or groups or maybe they've, mm -hmm. um, their kids have gone through it and they're not coaching now but they have lots of experience mm -hmm. and they want to give back so we're, mm -hmm. we're always looking to recruit members. Yeah. Um, annually we, we take on uh, volunteers on our board of directors. We're also looking for sponsorships for our Breakfast of Champions that we host annually right. where we celebrate excellence in the community. And there's a lot of it. A lot there of provincial lot of champions, either mm. teams or yep. individuals, individuals that have qualified for nationals or have gone on internationally. We've had some amazing mm. uh, people speak at our, our breakfast and mm. we've been able to celebrate them. People like Kia Nurse and uh, you know, Laura Fortino and all these individuals that we've, we just, know have we been in do, the Olympics. We could do a whole hour just talking about the uh, Rose family. Yes, yeah, yes. They've done so much for yeah. Sport Hamilton. What were you going to say before I we wrap to touch up? Base. So, so you, yeah, we brought up about sponsorships or other ways to participate. So we've actually also partnered with Kids Sport Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Kids Sport is, um, they help fund um, families or low-income families to help pay for child's registration for participation in sport. Yep. Similar to what you see, you've seen the commercial, sir, the, the Jumpstart program. Yes. Um, unfortunately, our Jumpstart has... If they have a huge sponsor and the whole... Oh, yeah. They have ceased individual grants. They're only doing now community partnership grants, oh. so they're no longer doing individual grants for kids. So the importance of Jumpstart now in the community has become even greater. So they're taking this, the, well, they've been around along, but I don't think not as recognized as Jumpstart. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kids, kids it's kid sport. Kids sport, yeah. yeah okay. Right? So um, although it's free to register, there is a button where you can donate to Jumpstart on our website. Good stuff. So, no, not um, to Jumpstart, to Kids Sport Kids Hamilton. Kids Sport. Sport Hamilton. Yes. I, I apologize. Too. That's, that's why we have Helen here. Yes. That's why okay. she's been overseeing things. Yes. Kids we, Sport Hamilton. Kids sport. sport Hamilton is a partner of Kids Sport Hamilton. We have members yeah. of our board of directors that are on the Kids Sport uh, yeah. um, organization. So we're very, very... Uh, committed to bringing sports to kids in the community who can't afford it. Yeah. The same with our grassroots soccer program that we host down at Tim Hortons Field, yeah. free to kids in the Ward 3 community. Yeah. And we've always had over 500 kids there every summer for it's the super. last nine years as a legacy. Your, your, your uh, participation and involvement to both of you, thank you so much for what you have done and will continue to do to all the members. We got to run. Uh, Hamilton, uh, don't forget to follow us on X at THN on C14. Of course, if you have any story ideas for an upcoming episode you can also send us your suggestions to thn at cable14.com